What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do another quick day of eating, show you guys uh, new breakfast, new lunch, and I guess kind of the same dinner I've been doing. Uh, power's been out since yesterday morning. So, like over 30 hours now the power's been out here. You guys could probably hear the background noise. I have a generator that can power like half my house, so I'm fine, like I, I can do pretty much everything I need to do besides laundry. And honestly, if I wanted to, I probably could just switch a few breakers around and do some laundry. But the internet's still out because, you know, whatever my internet service provider is using to power their devices, the power is out over there too. And I think over like 20,000 people have a power outage. Just, you know, whatever type of weather warfare they've been doing to us lately, there's like so much wind. The wind was so bad. I should probably take you guys outside and show you literally like half the trees in the, in the woods around me are down. It's insane. So like all, all these power lines are down. There's issues everywhere. So hope, hopefully it comes back soon. Thankfully the internet and everything is fine down in my warehouse. So I can still do some work, but um, yeah, I mean, I have, I have so many hours of work to do on the computer every day and, and video editing and YouTube stuff that if, if I can't do it at home, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like at a standstill with nothing to do and I'm definitely not gonna sit in my warehouse for 10 hours a day uh, on the computer. But anyway, uh, we're gonna show you guys breakfast real quick and then uh, I'm gonna get down to uh, get down to the warehouse to just one day of missing emails and stuff. I'm like, I'm screwed. I'm, I feel like, I mean, I feel Amish because you know, from 4 p.m. yesterday to what, 11 a.m. now today, no calls, can't answer any emails, can't do any business stuff. When you know, when I have an online business, very important to be able to check at least you know one or two hours a day. But I guess uh, whatever. So I've really tried to make hot breakfast for a while, whether it's like pancakes and sausage or oatmeal, and I just don't get hungry. So we've been doing the liver detox smoothie that I came up with on Organ Supplements, and it's really just a whole food smoothie. I called it a liver detox smoothie because that was the first idea I had for it. Could be used as a weight gain smoothie too if you concentrate it enough. But this is like a delicious blend of grains, fruits, and there are some collagen protein in here. So it's basically a complete food and I don't have to have anything else and it's really, really tasty. So what I do is take some glass bottled mineral water and rinse my shaker out because I'm schizophrenic. Rinse my blender thing out and this is going to be 16 ounces of water here and I do about 10 scoops of this and 10 scoops of this is going to be probably around 700 calories normally what I'll do is I'll let this sit for 10-15 minutes to let the water hydrate all that powder after I blend it and then I like blend it a little more and then drink it. But since I got nothing to do over here today and I gotta get down to work and do some internet stuff, we're just gonna blend it and drink it. Smoothie is all blended and ready. Now I take most of my supplements in the morning so they don't disrupt my sleep later because you know, like with the copper toxicity and liver toxicity in general, when you take vitamins and minerals, it tends to chelate things and increase circulating blood levels. Of whether it's like calcium or copper, those can really uh, keep you awake and uh, cause your mind to race. So I'm doing two, two zinc complex, which is 30 milligrams of zinc, uh, one molybdenum, which is 100 milligrams, 100 micrograms of molybdenum, MCG. And then we just take two vitamin B1, which from Morgan Supplements is 900 micrograms, very low dose. So it's just to really prevent, uh, just help the body process those carbohydrates. And then we're gonna do uh, vitamin D3, maybe two droppers, two droppers of vitamin D3, and then maybe a quarter dropper of vitamin K2. Not even. And I'll take all those capsules. smoothie and 
and I said this in the video that we did a few months ago on this, or a month or two ago on this, the main reason I uh, decided to launch this was because it tasted so good. And it's really palatable, so even though I'm not hungry at all, you know, this volume and caloric content of liquid is going to allow me to like take those vitamins and minerals in the morning and more importantly, keep like the bile flow and my liver detoxing. Because if I just wake up and don't eat for five or six hours, that's another five or six hours of basically zero gut motility because I slept the night before and I don't have any food in my stomach. Last thing before we go, we got our glandulars. I'm just going to do some of the male virility. And the third eye. And then end of every meal, I take about half a teaspoon of masticum. So the massive gum kind of helps suppress like H. pylori candida. And you know, when you have liver toxicity, copper toxicity, whatever it is, when all those metals and stuff come out of the liver, the candida and the H. pylori can overgrow pretty much every time. So for, for, the, for the time being, however long it takes, I basically have to take the massive gum. Otherwise, um, it's pretty easy to have uh, overgrowth, which makes you not feel so good. I get headaches. Uh, but we're pretty much good to go. And speaking of like blood levels of toxicity, I've been wanting, I've, I've been wanting to, uh, I usually like donate blood every month to, to like remove, you know, cause blood has copper in it. But the problem with that is you also remove uh, other vitamins that you might be deficient in. And I was debating on what the best way to remove the most copper once it's from the blood. And I'm guessing if like, if I took like my multivitamin and multimineral, like maybe like a double dose of each one, it would chelate like a lot of copper and zinc and, and raise my ceruloplasmin really high, like for a few hours after the meal. And then maybe if I donated blood then, like a lot more would come out. I might try that. That, may, that, that seems to make sense. I don't know. Or like don't hydrate that much so your blood is, I guess you could just donate more blood if you're worried about blood volume. Anyway, uh, some of you guys might remember we had the, I, bur I sunburned myself really bad last week. So I'll give you guys an update with that on lunch. But I'm gonna go to work for a few hours and uh, then we'll be back. Yeah, so this is my backyard. Look at all those trees that fell over, holy crap. Yeah, I think these past few months have been really bad from a wind perspective, but yesterday was like crazy. Like this has never happened before. That's that's kind of crazy. Look at how many trees fell down. Look at all, all over there too. Literally, I'm, I wasn't joking. Literally, it looks like half the trees in the woods fell down. Look at all that. I think that tree is tilted or something. All those, all over there. Everything, uh, everything fall over, fell over. It's fucking insane. This is crazy over here. Back here. Literally looks like half, uh, half the trees fell down. Well, we found why the power was out. I took a picture for you guys. Uh, last time that happened, which was like a few weeks ago, it was worse. Like I was driving down the middle of the night because the power went out and uh, the same thing happened. Like tree knocked down lines in the middle of the road. That time it looks like the, uh, the tree fell from that guy's house and then the lines were going across the road. So now they're holding the tree up. So hopefully, hopefully that's the only issue when they get to it. But who knows? I don't, I don't know if that's typical of this area for the power to be out so many times this year. Like, ridiculous. Down here at work, 
don't normally eat, but uh, we're trying this new Rice Krispie Treat recipe, so I gotta taste test it. Very good. Once the um, once the mixture soaks into the rice a little more, yeah, I like it. Possibly the new best bar we have. Possibly, very good. So we just got back from work. It's a little after six. I was checking if my internet's working, but. Power's out, so internet's out too. Uh, still got the generator up. I uh, was looking on like the electric company website and like this morning, it said like 30,000 people without power. And now it says 9,000 people without power. So they're getting things up and running pretty quick. It's just uh, this time I'm not one of the first people that they're getting the power back for. So I'm just gonna show you real quick what we brought home from work to eat. And then uh, I'm gonna make my, I guess, lunch slash dinner and then sit down and show you guys. So I brought home some Fuji water. That's what I drink most of the day. Uh, we got a box of apples. Because, I mean, the only thing I actually even get from the supermarket now is organic honey crisp apples. And since, like, <laughs> I have these, I'm kind of, like, just bringing these home instead. Here, I just I had some hot hand warmers at work uh, just so I can sleep now because it's kind of cold with the power out because I'm on electric heat. Uh, we brought home some more of the liver detox smoothie for my breakfast. Uh, and we're trying out some of the puffed grains. Uh, we got some puffed wheat there, some puffed quinoa, and some puffed rice. Uh, the, the quinoa and the wheat, as well as some popcorn, will be available on the foods website uh, by the time this video is posted because I'll have the internet back. But we actually made those Rice Krispie treats with the puffed rice. So the puffed rice will probably be available next week and down here i just brought myself some salt and a steak for lunch this is what we're i might have one from yesterday in here no i don't uh, yeah i have one steak from yesterday but we'll just have this one today we're gonna have a steak i gotta make some tortillas i got some tortilla dough here tortilla press and uh we'll have the steak with tortillas and then some of our white bean puree that's in the fridge And then, yeah, I just brought home some udon noodles and some baby wipes. Yeah, that generator is pretty loud, huh? I should have probably used my microphone, but I don't, I don't, I don't care enough to put the extra 10 minutes of effort in today. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just filming on the iPhone right now. It's about 7 o'clock. I usually eat a little earlier, but I was like procrastinating at work, doing extra stuff, hoping that you know, by the time I got home, the power would be back on and my internet would work. However, now, since it's not, I'll probably eat this and then take a nap, hoping that when I wake up, the power's working. But if not, we'll just do what we did yesterday and do more stuff around the house and uh, clean up some things I haven't. Like just laundry, garbage, organizing. Maybe I'll read a book and stuff. But um, I'm falling a little behind on work now. It's been basically two days without internet. So we got ribeye steak seared in the pan with some sea salt, homemade sourdough tortillas with our white bean puree. So this is a brand new meal. You guys haven't seen this before. Uh, we've never had tortillas before. I, I don't really like the, the flavor of the organic yeast on the bread sometimes. I like the sourdough flavor and the sourdough tortillas are, are pretty easy to make. Maybe we'll do a recipe for you guys as soon as I work out the kinks uh, in the ratios of flour to water. And this white bean puree, uh, we've made it a few different ways for you guys. This one has white beans, artichoke spread, collagen broth, and some Iberico ham in there. So I take the Iberico ham, I saute it in the pan, and then uh, and just a little bit of coconut oil, and then I blend that up with a, an immersion blender with the artichokes and the white beans and the collagen broth. So it's nice, flavorful kind of like liver detox, soluble fiber concoction. And this will also be what we're having in our udon noodles later. We're just gonna add some extra collagen both. Supplement wise, uh, we're doing our, our basic meal supplements, which is 
three mastic gum, uh, two vitamin B1, one molybdenum, and one zinc. I think that was one zinc, I'm so tired. Okay, so what I normally do here is I'll take my tortilla, you know, break off a piece, I'll spread a little bit of the white bean puree on it, and then I'll take a, a piece of steak and put that on top. So we have our high quality animal protein, B vitamins, cholesterol, giving ourselves the nutrients our body needs. Whole wheat flour, sourdough tortillas, star source energy fiber, detox to liver, give the body energy. And, uh, and then just a little more fiber and flavor with the beans. You basically mix flour, water, sourdough starter with some oil, let it sit overnight, and then make tortillas the next day. So it's a lot more forgiving than bread. It's a lot easier. Yeah, so I'm going to eat my meal, guys. And then while I'm having the apples, I'll, uh, I'll chat a little more. I'll tell you guys the sunburn story and stuff. But it, it's so late. I just want to get most of this food in me. And then, and then we can dilly-dally. All right, ate most of my steak, uh, kind of all the bread, and then We'll just take this bean puree and I'll put it in the bowl for dinner. So after I had my main meal, and sometimes I do this now before the apples, sometimes I do it after the apples, sometimes I have mastic before and after I have my apples, after the meal. So half a teaspoon of mastic gum. I'm gonna finish off this jar and probably have some of the second jar, so. I told you guys what these are in the past few vlogs and stuff and in the uh, short we did last week. Uh, we got some organic honey crisp apples, sent a pallet of them to my Amish buddies and uh, had them jar them in some mineral water with some flextrose, uh, organic glucose. It's just a, uh, you know, a non-perishable healthy jarred apple. It's not really that sweet. Uh, and some of you asked why we had to put some, if you didn't put glucose in here, if you don't put any sugar in there, the apples get less sweet because the water dilutes them. So you have to put something in. These, um, these big jars are $10, which is kind of like the minimum we can charge for them. I mean, I'm sure the apples are out of season, and maybe, you know, I should have waited and been more patient uh, to get a better price on the apples, but I don't know if I can really, like, I don't know how easy it would be to find a organic honey crisp apple supplier because I don't buy that much produce every week. But yeah, apples are, uh, apples are a great food for liver detox, all the components. The sugar, glucose, fructose, fiber, volume, everything is very important for, uh, for liver detox. Yeah, so I told you guys we got burned pretty bad in that tanning bed, I think almost two weeks ago now. Was it two weeks ago now? Yeah, I think so. And um, those first few days, I could like, I could like not walk. I, I, I kind of wish I took pictures and documented it, but I mean, I was in so much pain and like struggling to get through it through every day. Uh, I didn't, but the, the, so for those of you that didn't watch those videos, I accidentally went in my tanning bed for 30 minutes. I forgot how strong the new bulbs were and me being really pale right now. Um, it com now my skin looks okay because every single inch of skin on my body has peeled off in the last two weeks. No exaggeration. Bro, I, I was I was literally wheeling my vacuum around the house with me to vacuum up the dead skin because it was that bad. Literally every, I will say it again, 
every single inch of skin on my body from head to toe peeled off. Uh, it, it was pretty bad. I have some light scarring on my hands. I'm hoping it goes away uh, in another week. Um, I, don't know. I don't think you guys will be able to see it uh, unless I take like a close up picture, but you know how like when you, you scar, like the skin gets like shiny and scaly? Um, I have that on the top of my hands right now. So hopefully, hopefully not too much permanent damage. It seems like my hands are the only spot. Uh, yeah, no, the, the skin was so burned and so tight that I couldn't bend my legs. And I actually had edema, like water fluid buildup in my calves and at the bottom of my legs, my, they were so swollen. It was really, really bad. Uh, I went to urgent care, they gave me some oxycodone, which helped, helped me get through like, the, the, if I didn't have that for the first few days, I would not have slept at all. So that helped and then like, day, by day four, I didn't have to take them anymore. Um, so yeah, it was just super, super painful. Really like, could, could barely walk. Even just touching any part of the burn was like, really, really bad. Uh, I just went out to work, did as minimal as possible, and then like, I should have, I should have filmed like me getting in and out of my car. I was basically like humbling around, because, because you know, my whole body, the skin was so damaged. I could like, I felt like I could barely move. So I would just get through my day and then lay in bed. Um, and then af after about a week, um, after about a week, it still hurt, but it was manageable. And then for the past week, you know, just been incredibly itchy like crazy 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 itchy just like scratching the whole time just all the skin coming off and now finally around two weeks later I'm feeling okay it's almost like it's it's kind of gone still a little itchy but uh, lear lesson learned be careful with the tanning bed you know, I've never been burned like that in my life that was really bad um, mo mostly first degree burns over my whole body and then I think it was definitely some second degree burns because of the scarring and stuff and I was bleeding in some spots but uh, you know that was, those bulbs are uh, those bulbs are definitely strong enough to give you some vitamin D the regular like aloe vera they sell at CVS like didn't really do anything um, and I don't know if like, I had a natural aloe vera if that would have made a difference but you know by the time I was able to get it yeah, so I think I said we should have those puffed grain products on uh, on the foods website by the time this video is up. Uh, the Rice Krispie Treat Bars will be available by this weekend as well. And uh, we're going to have one, one Rice Krispie Treat is made with like nut butter. And one Rice Krispie Treat is made with regular dairy butter. So like... For me on my current diet, I could have one. If you guys just want the regular, how uh, Rice Krispie Treats should be, you can get the regular butter, but those should, those should be the two options for the Rice Krispie Treats. And then maybe next week we'll have the actual puffed rice available on the website. Uh, and so I guess I'm just gonna, I'll do a little work around the house. I'll lay down and then um, hopefully when I wake up, I can uh, upload this video, otherwise, because if you, if you guys aren't watching this on Friday, March, I think it's March 5th. No, April, we're in April already. If you guys aren't watching this on Friday, April 5th, that means that I had to post it at a later date because the internet and power has not come back on yet. So whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the power is unfortunately still out and the main thing i regret is not having like a few tv series or movies downloaded on my computer because i got some books to read but i'm like i'm so out of it and distracted like it, it's hard to focus reading a book sometimes power still out tomorrow I'm, I'm literally gonna go to like a store and buy some dvds or something to put in my computer because i'm a little bored to say the least but I did see uh, an emergency vehicle from the electric company drive down the street a few hours ago. Did I say it was midnight? Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that emergency vehicle 
drove down the street like three hours ago, so uh, hopefully they're working on it. And then we'll have internet back by tomorrow. But uh, we got our big bowl of Buddha noodles here. We're gonna take zinc, molybdenum, B1, two B1, and then maybe a little extra mastic capsules this meal before bed so I sleep a little better. Now, this udon noodles is the same as last time, except I sauteed the Iberico ham while making the white bean puree, so I don't have to do it every time I eat now. All I do is I boil the udon noodles in mineral water for a few minutes, combine the white bean puree with it and some collagen broth, and that's it. It's nice, quick, easy, big bowl of starch carbohydrates fiber from the white bean puree, amino acids, protein from the collagen broth, and you know, adding those other few things in there for a little flavor and taste. It's my way to have a big bowl of pasta before bed that works with my liver detox diet. Very delicious. Kind of hard to execute properly, but I think we've been having these udon noodles for almost two years now. So I have a little practice with them. I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold and then I'll chat with you guys a little bit while I eat my apples. Eat most of that big bowl. Uh, I don't know, maybe like 85% of it. What was I gonna say? Oh, when I weighed myself before my eye surgery uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> what, the, what did that scale say? I was shocked at how much I weighed. I was in my like five layers of clothes and heavy boots. And I think I weighed like 180 or 190. It was something insane. It was like 180 or 190 on the scale. It was one of those. And I was so shocked because I'm used to, I used to weigh myself at 150, I'm used to being 150 pounds. So I might've gained weight, I might not have. If I did, it's kind of mostly like fat and stuff in my in my legs and my stomach although I'm still kind of lean I saw the abs and everything um, that maybe was just maybe their scale was off maybe I have to uh, maybe I have to I would like weigh myself on the scale we have at work or something but if that is somewhat true it's a good thing that I'm able to to put some fat on because not being, not being able to put on fat is an indicator of severe liver damage where you're not even able to like produce enough enzymes and, and break down and metabolize and absorb calories from food. So if you're always really skinny, if you're really lean and you've had like, I mean, it's rare to have liver issues that severe like I've had ever since I took Accutane, but it, it is a bad sign. But hey, if I could start gaining weight now and put on that extra fat, that those fat stores really take a lot of stress off the liver. We got the rest of our jar of some apples here. Oh, you know what, let me do the last to come first. I think I'll hop back on the charcoal train. I'm like, I'm like on and off with the charcoal. I know I should be taking it every meal, but. Like sometimes I don't like want to take it with the glandulars or like I'll take an ibuprofen before bed. Some motion sometimes and I don't want to have the charcoal with that, but I don't think it really matters. The charcoal helps indefinitely. And I guess I should have explained this at the beginning, but the main purpose of this liver detox diet, and I've said this in pretty, probably half my day of eating videos, is to give the body the nutrients it needs and to replenish and balance things while providing basically a giant sponge that can soak and absorb toxic bile from the liver and bring it out of the body because humans weren't designed to live in such a high toxin environment because our detox mechanism is 
our liver releasing the toxins that were stored in the body or the liver, but that occurs at the very beginning of the digestive tract, which is insane because the food goes through, gets reabsorbed, and causes all sorts of symptoms and stuff. So it's it's difficult to say the least. But when I have this, now imagine in my stomach is this giant ball of starch, fiber, sugar, apples, and charcoal, and and all that, and a small amount of fat to stimulate the the small amount of fat stimulates the bile release from the liver. And that bile that comes out of the liver is full of toxins, bad stuff, and it gets soaked into the starch. And when there's charcoal present, less of it gets reabsorbed. Um, without the charcoal, it, it still still gets excreted. The charcoal just reduces the side effects and the reabsorption slightly. Um, so yeah, but it, and, and if you don't have that sponge, that giant sponge of starch and, and carbs and fiber, it's just going to get reabsorbed. If it doesn't have anywhere to go, it gets reabsorbed. It needs to be soaked into something. If you just have steak or fat, especially if you're carnivore or keto, you know, imagine take, and, and I could probably show you an example of this. I, I have, I probably threw it out. I, I, I bought um, some ox bile to sell as a supplement, but after I smelled it and realized how toxic it was, I just threw it out. Um, but I could have probably taken that ox bile powder, mixed it with water, made a liquid, and put it in different mediums, like a steak, a piece of bread, some coconut oil, some pasta, just as a simple demonstration showing you what foods can actually soak the bile. And it's simply only carbohydrate based. And candida also helps take and, and remove some, but that's a different discussion. It's been a long journey and uh, hopefully we're almost at the end of the detox part because it's been so many years guys I've been on this diet, but I've said this too, if I was carnivore for eight years and the diet before that was only making things worse, I've said it could take as long as you were on the negative diet to fix it. So, although I don't think it's going to take me 10 years to detox my liver, I think it's probably closer to five or six years total. Um, once I do completely detox, that doesn't mean I'm better. Then it's almost like, okay, now you're actually at a starting point where your body can have this healthy liver. And, and, and that, that year or two, that year or two after detoxing my liver and having and my body being completely clean, that's when I'm really going to start feeling good and, and things will get a lot, a lot better. Um, because, uh, what's a good analogy for this? You know, imagine you have like a, a junky beater car and you're always driving this beater car around and you're, you're fixing it, repairing it, you're fixing it, repairing it, and you finally get it to a good point you know, where it's it's finally like a brand new car. You basically replaced every part on the car. So we went we went from a beater car to basically slowly replacing every part on the car until it's literally brand new. And now that we have the brand new car and we're driving, we're like, oh my God, this is amazing. That's what it should be like with the healthy liver. But until we get to that point, who knows if we make it. But that's it for the day of eating, guys. Uh, if you go to frankdeshafan.com, you'll see all of my interesting and unique business ideas from Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, uh, Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Definitely go on there, check some things out. We always have new products on the meat website, best prices, best prices, most affordable online for meat. The foods website, always new stuff that I'm mentioning and showing you guys. Uh, we restock some great water keeper. Oregon Supplements, again, always new stuff. Wi-Fi shielding, we did restock some bed canopies and floor mats. Uh, we should have the clothing all restocked in a, in, a week, in a few weeks, two weeks maybe, three weeks. And then uh, on Frankie's Naturals, we also have pretty much everything. And uh, we might do some new, might have a new Naturals product in like a week or two, but don't hold your breath for that. So it might be in Puerto Rico. That would have been nice. that would have been giving me something to do. Should could have uh, 
imagine just had an Amish barn girl over here for a few days to distract me while my power is out and I have no internet. Would have been funner than uh, reading a book. Could have also, you know, got some exercise. That's the only that's the only exercise I'm willing to do at this point in my life, bro. I work out in the gym for ten minutes, but if someone wants to mess around, uh, I'll try to keep it PG this video. Anyway, thanks again for joining, guys. Frank See you guys for the next video if the internet ever comes back on. I want to say it took the power going out for three days, <laughs> two days, for me to finally do my laundry. To put away all the clothes. Which only took me 20 minutes, but... King procrastinator. Hold on, I'm excited. We just finished dinner and I'm looking at my router and the internet's on, so let's see if the power's on. Now, should I turn off the generator and then turn off the generator breaker? Or can I just leave the generator... I can just leave the generator on and hit the generator breaker off, right? Like, I don't have to turn the generator off in case I need to leave it running. It doesn't matter, right? We're gonna hit the generator breaker off and the power to the house is gonna go out. And then we'll hit the power on. Power's on, baby. All right, we're back to normal. Finally, some peace and quiet. How nice is that? I'll put this away tomorrow. So yeah, I would say lucky you guys, but who knows, the power could still go back out <laughs> with how things happen. Back in business, now I'm gonna have to, now I'm gonna have to do God knows how many hours of work at 12 p.m. because my power's back on, but I can't complain that much.